Okay, ladies and gentlemen at home, enjoy this last fight of the evening. Uh, take it away, commentators. And this is indeed the last match of the first day of the qualifiers. We have Erebus Alliance versus Red Overlord. And, um, well, we've got a hell of a set of ships on the field here. Um, for Erebus Alliance, we have um, a Maelstrom, a Dremiel, a Cyclone, three Manticores, three Ishtars, and a Nemesis. And for Red Overlord, it's a Macariel, a Dremiel, Dremiel, Daredevil, Dremiel, Macariel, Daredevil, Scimitar, Macariel, Daredevil. Yep, another three battleship loadout we see from um, Red Overlord. So an all Angel Cartel lineup apart from their logistics ship, which is very nice to see. Yeah, those are actually some of my favorite ships. We have the um, one minute countdown in local from CCP Claw. Um, well, we both know who our money's on. I'm still firmly with um, the Angel Cartel loadout here. That is a very pretty sight to see. Well, I've, uh, Veron, I've made my choice, and I'm sticking to it. Well, that's fine, good sir. We shall see who is the victor. At least I'll have my integrity. Yes, indeed you will. But I'm, I'm afraid I just can't bet against uh, such a pretty loadout. That is uh, outstanding from Red Overlord. Um, and it's going to put out a hell of a lot of damage as well. Well, I have to admit, it, it does pain me a little. Um but not enough for me to uh, go against what I believe. Okay, and the last match of the day will be uh, will be go in five seconds. Claw given the countdown and local, um, and we are underway. And drones are out. Yep, immediately the Ishtars from Erebus Alliance um, throwing a huge pile of Bouncer 2s out. Um, also Warrior 2s heading out as well. Uh, from their cyclone. There were also some bombs deployed. Um, I don't think they had much of an impact, however. Um, I saw at least one, I saw one bomb. Yep, and already one of the Ishtars from, um, from Erebus Alliance getting his head kicked in quite severely by the DPS of those Macarials, and he's down and out already. Uh, they did fire another bomb, um, completely past the, uh, Erebus Alliance, uh... Oh, and there's three or four ships straight away out for, um... For Erebus Alliance. This is pretty hard to keep up with. My god. Um, they did launch bombs initially, but, um, they seem to have had little or no effect other than quite heavily damaging one of the Daredevils. Um, already they've lost two of their three Ishtars. Um, only now, and a Maelstrom, a Cyclone, and an Ishtar on the field, they are being absolutely hammered into oblivion. Yeah, they have a, a Daredevil... Red Overlord Daredevil is dropping right now, but with only a Maelstrom and Ishtar and a Cyclone left on the Erebus Alliance side, um, I don't think that'll matter much. One of the things about bombs is they're directional. You kind of have to aim them and shoot them, and they'll explode at a specific distance. And I think what happened is one of the bombers shot in the general direction of the Red Overlord as they were coming in, but they came in too fast and just kind of flew right past the bomb. Yeah, um, wow, this is awesome. Just absolutely awesome showing on force from Red Overlord. I mean, they completely handed uh, Erebus Alliance their asses here, to be honest. Uh, wow, exactly what I expected from such a strong loadout. That it is. Um, a Maelstrom and a Cyclone remain on the field, and I believe one of them just popped for Erebus. Yes, the Cyclone, leaving only a Maelstrom um, to Red Overlord, whom. Yeah, and look at that. Look at the DPS. They have lost anything. Instantly, like literally three or four seconds in that maelstrom from um, from Erebus Alliance is down and out. I'm absolutely speechless. That's probably one of the fastest matches we've seen. Um, wow. Um, nothing more to be said, really. I guess we can hand back to Soundwave. That was probably the most uh, convincing show of force we've had this tournament. Red Overlord uh, putting their name in the hat for one of the potential uh, winners of this tournament uh, rel with relative certainty. That was a, a very, very good uh, match right there and a good way to end this first uh, qualifying day. We'll be better. We'll be back tomorrow at 1500 Eve uh, with the 16 more matches. Remember, we're going to have all three weekends televised. The last one will have all the commentators in the studio, uh, no breaks or anything, uh, just full-on action. Uh, it's going to be, it's going to be amazing. That's all I can say right now. Write it down. It's going to be amazing. Write it down and just put it in your calendar, and you'll look at it and think. 
that's probably going to be pretty amazing. But we're done for today. We're going to take a break. I'll see every one of you tomorrow at 1500 Eve for Eve Engineering versus Goonswarm.